everyone, welcome to Preach Guitars, my name is Sam. Welcome back for another episode of Around the Showroom. Thank you so much for the incredibly positive feedback we've received on these so far. We so enjoy making them for you and all the positive comments that we got on episode two were just incredible, so thank you. So we wanna do another one for you each month. Today we're gonna to focus on signature models. We've got so many different brands here, we've got so many different styles of guitar, and therefore so many different signature models by so many amazing and uh, varied players. So come with me, we're gonna take a little walk and see what we find. So as we get to the top of the stairs here, there's loads of music bands behind the camera, and that would be an obvious choice for signature models. John Petrucci, Tosin Abassi, Steve Lukather, the list goes, on and on and on. Jason Richardson, another incredible virtuoso player. But something that really catches my eye at the top of the stairs is this Greg Cox signature model by Reverend. Now, not just the color pops, but also the body. These bodies are 25% bigger than your typical T-style because Greg Cox is such a big guy. I think he's around 6'7", six, 6'8", six, but he's so beloved in the music industry. You might have seen him doing uh, demonstrations for Wildwood guitars. He's become really well known for that. He's a really versatile player, a real virtuoso with country and blues and rock. Uh, but the Bigsby, the Fishman P90 pickups, and it's just a really great color. And so I'm looking forward to plugging this in in a little bit. But another really great signature model. So I'm gonna take you around the balcony of the saloon now. So we're still in the main part of the showroom. We just wanna show you some of the other brands that are up here. So we've got Revolta guitars, all sorts of different models, Jackson guitars, and that continues down to LTD and ESP. And then we're into Schecter guitars. We've got things like the Sinister Gate signature model, another really iconic signature guitar. And then as we turn the corner, we're into Ibanez and we've got things like the Tim Henson signature model. We've got the Tom Quayle. If you haven't come across Tom Quayle's playing, you have to check him out. Another incredible guitar player. The signature model of all signature models needs no introduction from me. Guthrie Govan signature Charvel. Guthrie is one of my all-time guitar heroes. Such a virtuoso. And then we're into basses. We've got some Ibanez basses, Schecters. We've got things like the Doug Pinnock signature Schecter. New to Peach are the Sandberg basses. These are beautiful. Uh, we've got the Ida Nielsen signature model as well, Danish composer. So we're gonna head down now back into the warehouse and into the upstairs department to show you some other signature guitars. We can't do a video on signature models and not mention the John Petrucci signature music man because we've got so many variations of it. We've got all of the majesty models in six string, in seven string, in eight string fan fret, as well as the Steve Luke of the signature Lukes as well. These are the new Luke fours. They really know how to make incredible signature guitars designed for that artist. Custom electric guitars upstairs. So as we get to the top of the stairs, we're greeted by these beautiful guitars from Nags and the Steve Stevens signature models sit just here. I've yet to try one actually, so I'm really looking forward to plugging one of these in in a moment. But they're beautiful, really lightweight guitars. The necks feel really comfortable. Beautiful finish on these. He's once again, such an incredible guitar player, such an iconic guitar player too. Being that we're doing signature models today, one that really comes to my mind straight away coming upstairs is the Pete Thorne Signature Sir guitar. Now, we've got three in here. We've got two of the second generation and one of the gold top first generations, but I just love the finish on this one. So this is the second generation of the Pete Thorne Signature. Um, it's got the Thornbucker 2 in the bridge. It's got an ebony fretboard and a roasted maple neck, and the neck carve on this is amazing. But for any of you like session guys out there, someone who's looking for a really versatile instrument, Pete Thorne is your ultimate archetype versatile guitar player. I mean, he just needs a Swiss army knife of a guitar, and this is that. So during Around the Showroom episode two, I actually pointed out a PRS Tremonti model to show you the binding where they stain that maple top right up to the edge to leave that natural maple as the binding of the top. Uh, and it just got me thinking to pull out another Tremonti model to show you. So this is a Tremonti in this beautiful charcoal burst. Now, the Tremonti model was the second signature model offered by PRS Guitars, and they actually offer it in a stop tail as well as the tremolo. 
Now, if you haven't come across Mark Tremonti's playing, uh, he's in the band Creed, he's in the band Alterbridge, and also his own solo project, Tremonti. And he's an amazing rhythm player, uh, an incredible writer, but also has really worked at the craft of being an amazing, very melodic lead guitar player. And so these guitars have to keep up with him. And uh, he plays loads of different variations of these models on the road. So now we're coming into the warehouse and we love finding something for you guys that's sitting in the warehouse at the moment. And we've just looked at the Music Man guitars and that just kind of clicks something for me, which is to show you the Tosin Abassi signature model called the Kaizen. Now I saw one the other day, so I'm gonna try and find it for you now. I also wanna add that when we're doing these videos, we naturally want to show you things that as a group and as a crew here at Peach Guitars that we all kind of like and love. Uh, and we get different feedback from different people here, as well as listening to the feedback that you guys are giving online. Um, but I wanted to push it a step further and not just pick guitars that me as a player would enjoy, but that the audience might like to see um, who are watching this. So we're pulling out a seven string, which is not <laughs> in any way, shape or form in my wheelhouse. But what I want to do is sit with it for a minute try and play around, try and get and get used to it, and then we'll add it into the video that we're doing for you guys later on. Um, where was it? Where are we? Oh, this is the seven string Apollo Black Kaizen model. Now, these come in a beautiful hard shell case, and these are a really unique shape, and they're incredibly light. Let's show you this. That is just so cool. It is really, it's light as a feather, this guitar. The neck is beautiful. The neck profile is really unique as well. It's very, very small. Um, seven string fan fret as well. So really, really gonna push myself out of my comfort zone doing a video on this guitar. But I love that as a player. And I think it draws something else and new out of you as well. Makes you think, get outside, outside of your head, outside of the normal boxes that you might play and make you think differently. But this with the body contour, the shape of it. And as I said, it's so light. So looking forward to plugging this in in a little while. As we always love to do at the end of these videos, we're gonna take a few of those different signature models we've shown you. We've shown you too many to do a playing clip on each one because we've got so many different models, but we're gonna choose a little variety of them and take them back to the studio now and show you some sounds and tones from those guitars. So actually, just before we get back to the studio, I just want to show you this. So this is where all the guitars and all the instruments come when they're first delivered. It's to Adam's studio so that they can go live on the website for sale. And these have just come in. These are the Sinichi Ubukata Signature Epiphone 355. These feature the B70 Bigsby. They've also got the Veritone and they've also got these beautiful bound diamond F-holes as well. These guitars look fantastic. Really going to look forward to plugging one of these in. So we're going to take one of these back with us to the showroom. <laughs> Now, being totally honest, having never played a Nags guitar before, I am blown away by the feel of this guitar. The pickups are so responsive. The mahogany body is nice and light, but nice and punchy. The pickups have this great kind of response uh, and attack time as well. They're really clear, uh, and the high end, especially on that back pickup, uh, is amazing. They're also dealing with a lot of overdrive, but they're still really clear. I've got a Tube Screamer and an MXR Modified OD on together stacked, going into the classic reverb signature from Two Rock. Um, and that's a lot of gain, but these pickups are really handling that so well. Uh, and the neck shape and the neck profile, along with that perfect setup, feel amazing. <laughs>
So, as I said earlier, when we found this guitar in the warehouse, a seven string is a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. I've never sat to play one, but immediately felt inspired and uh, kind of found myself really wanting to learn um, and get into these guitars. The fan fretting, the infinity radius as well, allows a real kind of clear visibility of the whole fretboard. And the articulation and clarity you get from this guitar is just mega. Um, and it, it kind of add that in with the lightweight, and it's a really comfortable guitar to sit with as well. The balance of it is really amazing. Um, and I find myself really inspired by this guitar. I think this is a really unique and exciting design and a great guitar to play. Now, the same as the Nags guitar, this is my first experience playing a Reverend. Um, and I must say, it's so great. It's so comfortable. The action, the playability, the setup's amazing. The neck feels fantastic. The Bigsby and the setup with that is also perfect. The pickups are really brilliant. They're kind of a, a really wide open voicing. Um, they've got loads of punch as well. I'm just using a Tube Screamer TS-808 uh, in the video for this guitar. Uh, the back pickup's got loads of that bite, but plenty of kind of chime. It's not too brittle or too harsh. Um, and also for anyone who hasn't checked out Greg Cox playing, you really should. The guy is an absolute monster player um, and so fun. And he's just got this energy and kind of this vibrancy for life. He's an amazing human being and I have learned so much from Greg. So thank you, Greg. So I've been an enormous fan of Mark Tremonti and all the projects and all the work he's done for the last 20 odd years of my life. Seen him live many, many times and always love the sounds that he gets out of these incredible signature guitars. I would say on a clean setting, that front pickup is absolutely incredible. One of my favorite rhythm humbucker sounds I've heard for a very long time. It's really bell-like high ends. It's really chiming and open. It kind of also balances the more you dig into the strings. There's a real kind of balance and kind of openness to the way it responds, um, but also dynamically doesn't kind of pierce, doesn't kind of jump too much, especially with the high strings. There's a real kind of, and that's why I demonstrated the open chords, because uh, you can really hear that with the high end strings. I think Mark is an incredible player and this guitar is a testament to his and PRS's relationship, fine tuning things throughout the years and building a guitar that is an absolute workhorse for a true virtuoso's playing. <laughs>
Now we're sitting with the Shinichi Ubukata signature model from Epiphone, and I just fell in love with this guitar straight away. From the olive drab color, the bound diamond F holes, the kind of traditional look, but a real modern kind of take on it. I just love that. And this is a great playing guitar with the Bigsby as well. The pickups sound fantastic, really open, kind of nice and grunty as well with a little bit of drive that we've got from the Tube Screamer that we've got here. Um, and so many different tones you can get from this Veritone switch as well. So if you're a 355, 345 or a 355 hollow body lover and you're looking for a guitar that's got loads of different tones, this is a great example. Thank you to everyone for watching these videos and for following us. We're super grateful that you do. If you have any questions about the guitars that you've seen, put it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so on both the Peach Guitars channel as well as the Peach Guitars Boutique channel on YouTube. And you can head over to Instagram and to TikTok and follow us there as well. Uh, we're super grateful for the feedback as well and all the positivity that we got in the comment sections for episode one and two of Around the Showroom as well as the top five for the monthly guitars as well. Uh, and until next time, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.